Hello friends, I welcome you to this class. In today's class, I want to show you how you can run post octets for chi square. In the last video I posted online, I show you how you can run a chi square. I discuss about the assumptions, the analysis, and the interpretation. So if you have not watched the video, you can watch the video as, as a premise for today's class. You can check the link in the description of this video so that you can link to this class to the previous video. Now, this is the result of the chi-square test and the result we found that, that the, we found that the chi-square is significant. We have rejected a null hypothesis. Now that there is significant difference in the proportion, there is a need to carry out post to determine pair of difference between groups and this is also called the pairwise comparisons. This is referred to as Z test or Z proportions. Now, let's let me show you how you can run the post hoc test. Click on analyze, cross tab, click on cell. Now, this is compare column proportion. There's a need for adjustment because of the multiple comparisons and that's why you have to click on to adjust the p-value because of the multiple comparison so that's from very on the method and continue click ok take note of the outputs now you discover that there is an additional subscript letter after the analysis now, I want you to take note that this is this is not comparison of means as obtained in parametric tests. This is comparison of proportion. So you have to take note of it because this is not parametric test. Now, let's interpret this table. Now, the, the independent variable is teaching method, which is lectionary method, discussion method, and demonstration method. What the dependent variable is. The level of performance that is high performance and low performance. Now that we have the result of the post test, uh, how do we interpret? I want you to take note of this letter because that is what we use to interpret. Let's look at this this row. We have high performance, we have low performance. Now this the rows, the interpretation is the same. Just are different from what is the same as obtainable in the postdoc test like analysis of variance. So you discover that in lecturing methods, the value adds the value as subscript letter A. For discussion method, as subscript letter B. And for demonstration method, subscript letter B. Let's compare lecture method with discussion method. When you compare the lecture method with discussion method, you see that. Uh, there is significant difference in the proportion because they don't have the same letter. Now, we also compare the lecture method to demonstration method. You discover the significant difference in the proportion because they don't have the same letter. But when you compare discussion method with demonstration method, you will, the interpretation is that there's no significant difference because they have the same letter. Note of the of the column with the higher proportion. You can see that here of those students that have high performance, a higher proportion is 61. And so we are comparing group one to with group three. That is so the higher proportion is demonstration method and different subscript letters. So the interpretation is that the proportion of students with high performance, maybe in mathematics, whatever you are measuring, after being taught with demonstration methods is significantly higher than the proportion of students taught with lecture methods. Other comparisons are not significant. Compare the lecture method with discussion method because we also found that the proportion of students that were taught with discussion method was significantly higher than that of lecture methods. 
So if you have any question, you can drop your question or comment in the comment section. So if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, you can hit the subscribe button and click on the alert button so that you can get notification for our subsequent uploads. Thank you for watching.